Okay, so what can travelers really expect this holiday season? Joining us now, Michael Taylor. He is going to provide more insight. Michael's the Managing Director for Travel, Hospitality, and Retail at J.D. Power. Michael, thanks a lot for uh, coming on on this eve before Thanksgiving. I want to pick up on one thing Nathan said there at the very end. Let's have a, st a stress-free. Is that possible? I mean, honestly, I mean, because the airports haven't really dealt with the crush of people, the airlines themselves, and, and of course, the people who haven't crowded through airports like they uh, used to until right about now. Well, compared to the summer travel season, which was quite chaotic, simply because the airlines didn't have enough capacity and kind of were stretching their resources very thin, that any kind of, as your reporter just said, any kind of weather delay uh, threw a monkey wrench into the entire system. So we're thankfully having a very good weather, uh, lack of weather events across the United States over this holiday period. And as your reporter said, it might change on Monday. Uh, but that's probably the best news that could happen. What's happening right now is that we're practically back to 2019 levels. About 2.2 million people are going through airports. Uh, prior to this holiday season, it might spike up to 2.5 million. It was 2.9 million flying in 2019. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get to that level simply because there simply aren't enough aircraft to carry all those folks. The way the airlines have adjusted is to reduce the number of flights to match the number of pilots and crews that they have. And uh, that's going to be a little bit um, constraining. Uh, planes are going to be a little bit more full. That middle seat that you're used to having maybe open next to you won't be open this time. That, that, that buffer zone is gone. So where are people going? Well, they're, they're basically going to all over the United States, which is causing a little bit of a problem, simply because, again, some of the smaller routes in the United States have been cut back. And so the uh, people are going to have to go through uh, connecting airports uh, a little bit more often this year. So you might see connecting airports being a little more busy. Now, Reagan National, which was in your previous segment, is a what we call an OND or an origination and destination market. Uh, so you don't see as many crowds there, but you might see it at, say, Raleigh-Durham or O'Hare or certainly at Atlanta. Um, mm. So right now we're doing OK. Uh, you know, holiday travel is never stress free. But on the other hand, it's going to be relatively stress-less compared to this last summer. Let's pick, on some, uh, pick up on something you said earlier, too, because you, maybe 2.5 million people may fly as opposed to 2.9 mm -hmm. uh, back in uh, mm -hmm. uh, 2019. What about the, the roads? Because as Nathan mentioned in his story, people in the United States love to travel. And for an right. international audience, th all these people are going home. They're going to see loved ones, whether parents, grandparents, uh, something uh, along those lines. They're not going for vacation where they may hit the beach or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're basically they're going to be traveling to, you know, all over, wherever their family's going to meet for that family vacation, that family dinner. Uh, so it's a little bit more widespread. Over the summer, we saw real concentrations in leisure destination markets like Orlando, for example, where it was very, very difficult to get a rental car uh, and mm. to get a flight uh, back home out of Orlando. And they were uh, operating at levels above their 2019 levels for a good part of the summer when the kids were off school. And the Thanksgiving holiday is slightly different because people are not really going to leisure destinations. They're going to family homes, and those are a little bit more widespread. Yeah, and they're going to have to pack their patience, too, if history <laughs> is something we can that use. Is a, that is a phrase I've heard quite a bit, and that's uh, actually true at any time. Uh, it's always good to just have a patient attitude. And as your reporter was saying before, it's quite true that, you know, if you're going to be bumped from a flight, uh, in, you know, involuntary, in voluntarily being denied boarding, uh, that is going to be more difficult because there's just not enough open seats mm. going to destinations that you may want to go to. Uh, but we don't see that right now at this particular juncture because the weather is really cooperating. So how much is it going to cost people? Let's say if you're going to fly to what you refer to as an organization, oh, I'm sorry, an origination and destination site, as opposed mm -hmm. to driving, let's say, what's a comfortable drive? Seven hours, something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's very comfortable. Depends on, I guess, maybe out, the, out west coast it is, not here, not here on the east coast. Um, well, what happened, what the pricing is up about, a uh, ticket price is up about 39 to 40% right now. Uh, and the airlines are really doing very, very well financially. Uh, again, because they have relatively fewer aircraft that are flying. Now, they're still paying for aircraft that are parked, but they're not operating those aircraft. And those aircraft are very full. And that's just like operating a restaurant. A really successful, financially successful restaurant has all the seats filled. 
a really successful financial airline has all its seats filled as well. And that's currently what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, load factors in, into the 90s and high 90s, and especially in this market where I live, it's more like 95 to 99 percent uh, load factor. So uh, you know, you'll you'll often hear this is a completely full flight uh, from right. your flight attendants. Probably the most commonly used phrase this travel season. Okay, Michael Taylor, thanks very much. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, and uh, if you are traveling, I hope it's safe there and coming back. Okay, and that's it for this.